Hi, I'm Rick and I'm an auto enthusiast here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We have a 1956 Pontiac Safari that we've done a lot of customizing work on and we were looking at certain applications for the features on the car and one of them was what to do with the eyebrow over the headlight. In looking at this uh, conceptually in our design thinking, what we wanted to do was extend the front headlights out and we were looking at the eyebrow to see if we might be able to put a parking light or a turn signal lens into that molding. The original molding is a solid piece with a false louver in it. In looking at this we decided what we could do is to cut out the back of this, provide a hole in this area and perhaps figure out some way to put a light behind that and make that become a turn signal. One of the problems that we ran across in this whole concept was we needed to have a lens that would go over this that would look like it was made for that shape and in that position. I did some research and came upon Illumilite here in Kalamazoo and I went over and talked to one of their research developers over there and it was decided that they had the capabilities to do what we wanted to do. After some discussion what we decided to do was that we could create a lens from the resin materials and we needed to have a process to do this. So what we came up with, we took a piece, thin piece of cardboard and put some aluminum tape on it and we scored into that a lens design. We then put those materials together and put a backing over the original molding. This gave us the background so that our new lens would look as if it were uh, had that uh, ocular characteristic of a lens. In processing the ideas with uh, Illumilite uh, research people, we found that we wanted to try and see what kinds of lenses might work. We did some experimental lenses originally. The first step was to develop just to see what the concept would work. And we made some clear lenses and by golly it did work. We got the shape of lens that exactly created the closure that we wanted to look at and it gave us the lens impression on the back. That we knew at this time that we were going to have a successful uh, solution, so we decided to look further into uh, resin moldings and colors of the resin. And we tried a different couple, a couple of different colors, and finally decided on a, a particular mix uh, that they were able to do with some of their dyes, and came up with the color of the molding that we wanted to do, and that gave us the amber fixture that we could use for our turn signal. We then sent this new molding out to a chrome plater. Uh, we polished it up, fit it, we cut the backing of it. That was fitted in and then behind that we have a uh, light bulb uh, socket arrangement that we developed and that's all hooked up to the turn signal and so what we ended up with was a very nice custom application uh, with a turn signal, applic uh, turn signal in the eyebrow and it uh, really was quite a solution that Illumilite was able to help us with. If you're interested in watching a step-by-step -step on how we created the lenses, stay tuned. We began the lens making process by taking an impression of the inside of the chrome molding that would later be machined out. This impression would then be transferred onto the lens. Because both the left and right were symmetric, we were able to make one mold for both sides. To take the impression, we're using Plat 55 silicone rubber. Mix the Plat 55 per instructions and pour it a thin layer into each of the recessed areas. Once the silicone was cured, we peeled the impressions out of the chrome moldings and moved on to the mold making process. We took some double sided tape 
to adhere each of the impressions down to a flat base. Next we built a mold box and then applied three coats of Alumilite's rubber to rubber mold release over the silicone impressions. This step was important because we're going to use the Plat 55 silicone to also make the mold. So if we miss this step, the Plat 55 would bond to itself when we poured it over the impressions. Once cured, we turned the mold over and began to remove each of the impressions. Sometimes a little of the silicone will seep underneath the impression, therefore we had a little bit of fusing that we had to take a, an X-Acto knife and cut away. Once these were removed, we were ready to cast our lenses. We weighed out equal amounts of Alumilite's water clear resin and mixed them together, adding a few drops of yellow and one drop of orange to get our amber tint. We degas the resin before pouring it in the mold to remove the majority of the air bubbles. Once degassed, we slowly poured the resin into the mold. A few hours later, the Illumilite water clear was cured and we were able to remove them from the mold. As you can see, the same impression that was on the original chrome moldings were transferred into the lens. If you have any questions about this application, or any other auto restoration application, please give us a call. We can be reached at 1-800-447-9344.